What's up guys, I'm Uriel. Now in this video, I'm gonna be showing you how to add a gloss effect to your flip box on Elementor. Now this is gonna be a pretty quick video because I've probably gone over this quite a bit of times on how to add gloss effects to your carousel, your slider, and even your header. So I'm not gonna go into it too much, just gonna show you guys the short codes and how you guys can go about doing that. So um, first things first is if you don't, if you guys don't know how to generate your own gloss effect, you can go into this website called Gloss Morphism, um, and you can generate your own CSS um, gloss uh, snippet code here, and then you can just copy that, and I'll show you guys where you're gonna place this. So, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and just copy this one here. I'm gonna remove my carousel slider that's in there currently. I'm gonna remove this one here, and I'm just gonna have a section. Um, and then I'm gonna go ahead and just add my flip box right in here. I'm gonna just type in flip box. And I'm gonna add that right in here. As you can tell currently, we do not have a gloss effect, but not to worry. All we gotta do is just target the front um, and then the back. So head over to advance. And if you're not using Elementor Pro, you can just add it to your customizer. I show you guys how to do that in my last video when I go over um, adding a gloss effect to your carousel or your header even. So, but for just for this purpose, I'm gonna do it um, on the Pro. So from here, what we need to do is we need to just target the front of this um, flip box. So I'm gonna go ahead and grab my CSS um, class here that we have. So as you can tell, the front is this CSS class here. You guys used um, CSS before, you'd kind of be familiar with that. And then we just need to add some curly brackets um, right after the CSS class. And in between those curly brackets, we need to go ahead and add our um, gloss, gloss morphism um, CSS snippet here. So I'm not gonna use this one particularly just because I already have one that I've made and that I've been using around throughout um, this page here. So I'm just gonna grab what I have here. I'll have this down in the description in case you guys wanna use my exact um, CSS um, snippet that I'm using. So you guys can go ahead and just grab it from my description. So once you have that, just go ahead and paste it in between your curly brackets. And as you can tell, the first, um, the front side of this flip box is gonna have that um, gloss effect. It's gonna look pretty nice, but whenever we flip over, um, we're not going to have the gloss effect anymore. Now, you can just leave it like that. That's fine. You can just um, customize this side. Or if you also want to add a gloss effect to the back side of it, I have the CSS class here as well. So just go ahead and uh, grab this from the description. It'll probably lead you to my website, um, and I'll have it on my website somewhere, and that's where you guys can view it. So let me remove this extra curly bracket here. I'm gonna paste my um, class and then I'm gonna add, right after my class, I'm gonna add some curly brackets. And then in between my curly brackets, I'm gonna add some stylizing um, code here. And I'm gonna use what I've used before. It's gonna be this one here. And then I'm gonna paste it right in here. As you can tell, now it's on the front side and the back side. Oops. So now I'm gonna click update. And let's go to view this on the go and it's working perfectly of course you can customize that button um, however you would like not really going to customize it too much um, so then I'm going to go ahead and just duplicate this let's see if I can just duplicate the section here or duplicate the column sorry um, and as you can tell now we have three columns that are um, that have that gloss effect now that's pretty much it for this video I hope you guys did enjoy it I know that it was a pretty short video um, I didn't want to go over too much just because in my last videos, I've pretty much showed you guys how to generate a gloss effect. If you guys don't know how to do that. Go ahead and watch my last video in case you have um, any questions or issues. Watch those videos first. And then if you still have any issues, just comment down below and I'll try to help you guys out. But if you guys did find this video helpful, make sure to squash the like button for the YouTube algorithm. And if you guys haven't subscribed to the channel, please consider subscribing so you don't miss out on any of my videos. I'll catch you guys in the next one.